Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to use Manifold Viewer or uh, Manifold Release 9 to uh, view uh, the data contents that are in the uh, geoplatform.gov.gov uh, website, which the U.S. government provides as a master listing of thousands and thousands of uh, data sources. And we're also going to learn how to scrape uh, data from that, that is to acquire data from that website that it serves. We're looking at a typical Release 9 uh, presentation here, a view, and this could be a Manifold Viewer. It works both in Viewer and in Release 9. And I'm going to start by creating a map. Uh, and uh, let's, um, let's use a uh, Bing street map as a background for the map. As you can see, this is very quick and easy to do. All this works exactly the same way in, in both Viewer and Release 9. Uh, these are Bing layers that, coming, that are coming in. And uh, we're going to be working in the Washington, D.C. area, so I'll zoom directly into that. Uh, here I have URLs, including the URL for uh, the uh, geoplatform.gov website. And uh, what I've done is I've opened uh, a different session in uh, the Opera browser here. I like Opera because it has VPN and it has automatic ad blocking. And the geoplatform.gov uh, website provides uh, an incredible range of uh, uh, data. And we're going to search the catalog here. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's, but it's not bad. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to search data sets by format. Uh, Viewer will uh, display virtually every format that it has here, as will Manifold Release 9. We're going to click Show All. But for this particular example, I'm going to show you how to uh, link in a uh, web server that uses GeoJSON, because not uh, all viewers can uh, use GeoJSON. And what's cool about GeoJSON is that uh, it's actually vector data. It's, it's not dead raster data. It's not just an image. It's the actual GIS data. So here we go. Let's use the... Let's click on GeoJSON, and it'll show us a catalog of all the GeoJSON data. And as you can see, some of these uh, web servers here, for example, the uh, USGS Blue, Blue Line Streams or the 2016 election results for uh, Fairfax County, Virginia, uh, are available in HTML and as we rest, uh, GeoJSON, CSV, KML, and so on. We're going to use GeoJSON, so I'm going to right-click on here and choose Copy Link Address. And then I'm going to go back here into Manifold, and I'm going to create a data source new data source and what we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, GeoJSON server and I'm going to paste that URL that I copied. So I'm going to click create data source and what it'll do, it'll, it'll go out there uh, across, uh, we're sitting in Europe by the way as we're fil filming this, it's going to go across the Atlantic to uh, Fairfax County or whatever this, uh, where that server is located and it's going to locate the data source for, uh, for that and it's going to generate uh, the uh, the uh, drawing uh, using the data source that's brought in from Fairfax. That could take a while because some of these servers are pretty darn slow, especially when they're serving vector data and they're not serving uh, raster data. The Bing server, for example, here is extremely fast. That's raster data. Uh, there's, there's a drawing already. It's, we have a features drawing. So let's take this features drawing, and if we like, we can drag it and drop it into the map. And uh, you can see what it produces here. It produces a features drawing here. Uh, if we're working with Manifold Viewer, uh, all this stuff works. Uh, so you can see any of those thousands and thousands and thousands of tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of data sources that are there on geoplatform.gov. We're now going to do something a bit more interesting. We're going to uh, copy the table. I'm going to highlight that, click that, and control click this. And then here I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to, I'm going to paste this as a uh, local uh, drawing. What we've done is we've just scraped that information out of the uh, the server, so that even if right now I uh, let's delete this from the drawing, and let's see, I delete this data source, so it's no longer coming in live from the server. Instead, I'm going to use this local drawing here, features drawing, which has all the uh, data that was associated with that uh, drawing from uh, that was served by the server. And uh, we can do things with this features drawing now. For example, we can uh, style it. It's, by the way, it's, this is the, the drawing is in latitude and longitude, and Release 9 or Viewer is automatically reprojecting it on the fly into the pseudo Mercator projection that's used by the map. Uh, let's style this data. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, style it by uh, the winning party in the 2016 election. If you're familiar with the uh, politics of the uh, Washington, D.C. suburbs, you will not be surprised to note that Trump won a mere 3.3% uh, in that election. Uh, their, their politics here tend to be, uh, well, let's, uh, let's uh, get this, uh, let's just choose that color. 
there and let's choose this color here and we can update the style and you can see we've colored that okay that's super now I, I promised you how to show how to look at GeoJSON data and uh, everything that you see here uh, works perfectly so for example we can uh, in the map here we can uh, uh, identify any of these uh, any of these precincts and know exactly what all the data from them is let's do something interesting let's export this features drawing so I can right click here on the features drawing and choose export and uh, let's export that to uh, shape files and we'll call that a uh, Fairfax results and uh, when I save it it's going to be exported to a shape file if we like let's turn this off here this layer off and now let's re-import that drawing as you can see we created the uh, shape file here and uh, uh, let's uh, click on Fairfax results open and there's the uh, shape file that we see open in its own window or if we like we can drag it and drop it into the map and see it automatically reprojected into uh, a pseudo Mercator projection now to export that you need a uh, manifold release 9 because viewer is a uh, well, it's viewer. It's, it's a read-only application. It'll do everything that Release 9 can do, except it cannot export data. It's, it doesn't write data. So you can use it to view any one, any one of these thousands and thousands of uh, data sets that you see. You can temporarily do all sorts of uh, cool things for the data. You can, for example, analyze the data. Uh, you can work with any of the SQL facilities that are in Manifold and all those other things. You just can't export the results. If you want to export the results, if you want to actually scrape the data, well, then get yourself a copy of Release 9 or get somebody who does have a copy of Release 9 to do it for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, we've seen how to uh, connect to uh, the geoplatform.gov website. We've seen how to choose a format in that geoplatform.gov website. We've seen how to uh, automatically connect, uh, create a data source that connects to that and brings in data on the fly, including vector formats, not just raster formats such as WMS or uh, ArcGIS REST uh, raster services. Uh, we've seen how to uh, make a local copy of the data, as we see here in the, in the uh, features drawing and the features table. Uh, and we've seen how to, if we have release 9 and not just viewer, how to export that into a shapefile that is actually scrape the data, actually acquire the vector data from uh, the website and to save it in a format which we can then utilize locally. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't hesitate to download viewer. It's absolutely free, no strings attached. It's uh, free for personal use, it's free for educational use, it's free for commercial use. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. So uh, don't hesitate to download and to use that uh, facility. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from uh, Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.